Stay ready. Stay ready. Been down me since day one, baby. Stay ready. Let's go. Already. It's your boy Mac, Stay Ready Boxing TV, coming at you with some news you can use. Say, man, dig these blues. <laughs> I told y'all I was going to start, you know, doing these videos again. It's been a while. But boxing has actually gave me something to speak on. Not just this fight, but, well, the fight this weekend, but it's actually giving me the Deshaun Porter, Terrence Crawford fight. He had a press conference today. I ain't gonna speak on it in this video. We're gonna talk about that tomorrow. Uh, David Benavidez, Jose Scott the Key, Tio Fimo Lopez, and George Cambosa finally. Ryan Garcia, Jojo Diaz, hopefully. Uh, Canelo, Plant. Tank, Roly, man, we got the end of the year actually turned out better than the shit that we've been getting all year. Cause it's actually been a bunch of a bunch of bullshit going on. But your boy's back. Um, uh, I'm finna start bringing y'all back these interviews, and I'm finna start doing my boxing conversations again. You know what I'm saying? These ringside views, these holes is amazing. So they're coming back. You know what I'm saying? So without further ado, I'm sorry, I had to sit my yak, but. Without further ado, let's get to the, the meat and potatoes, man. Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder, and Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. Man, what to say about this fight? There's so much to say about this fight, from the build-up to this fight, from the, the banter at the, at the weigh-ins, at the... At this press conference compared to the first press conference when it wasn't much words being spoken. Malik Scott doing most of the talking throughout the process. You know, Wilder coming in doing a couple of interviews here and there, but for the most part, everything that we've been getting from the build up, the training videos to the to the shit talking, the you know, the the back and forth, so everything that we've been getting. I actually been enjoying all of it. Like I'm no lie, no bullshit. And to actually see the process, the the to see that we're finally here. And from the whole point, nigga, I've been expecting Fury to to pull out of the fight, not show up. You know what I'm saying? It's it's and then we're here. It's still a little skepticism, you know what I'm saying? I got to see him step his feet in the ring to make his first defense of this, this title. You know what I'm saying? I want to see him step in this goddamn ring. But let me get down to the breakdowns, you know what I'm saying? Tyson Fury, as far as heavyweights goes, he's the most talented pure boxing fighter in the heavyweight division. I'm not going to. Sugarcoat no shit. I'm going to give it to y'all straight. Tyson Fury is the most talented boxer at the heavyweight division as far as the boxing skill goes. He has amazing footwork. He has amazing upper body movement. To be so big, he can move swiftly. He's quick. He has He's very agile, great lateral movement. Um, and he can push the issue when he has to, you know, um, by going forward instead of just being the outboxer like he did against Klitschko, like he did in the first Wilder fight, like he did against uh, Derek Chisora in the first fight, um, like he was doing against Stephen Cunningham before he got dropped and then he started pushing the issue and, and actually stopped the SS Cunningham. Um, 
the same way he stopped Derek Chisora. Like he he has um, multiple levels of skill. He, he's 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 multi talented when it comes to that. He, you know what I'm saying? He has multiple facets to his his game, and I and I I respect his boxing game. I do, and that's one thing is why I actually give him a chance to win this fight as far as the boxing game goes. Um, Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder has a right hand from hell that can knock anybody out. We saw that in the first fight as well. I don't know who the fuck dog that is barking. This shit is irritating as fuck because the motherfucker, we in a fucking apartment complex, loud ass dog just barking his ass off. But the, beside the dog, um, he got a right hand from hell. That right there is an equalizer. And that means he has a chance against anybody in this sport. I don't give a damn how talented you are as a boxer. If you get touched by that right hand, you will go to sleep. One thing I will say about Tyson Fury in that last fight, he did eat that right hand. Uh, I heard my brother Junior The Truth talk about it. He actually made me go back and rewatch that fight, which I really didn't want to do. Uh, but I did. And in that last fight, he got caught flush with that right hand and ate it. But what, like he said... One thing that Tyson Fury has always been is hittable. Whether he's he's swift, agile, and able to move and 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 slip punches real easily, he's still he's still a very hittable person. He he fights with his hands down. He don't fight with his guard up, so he can get hit. I'm looking I'm looking forward to see what I'm going to get out of this because one thing people don't really speak on is how Deontay Wilder actually has power in both hands. I watched him knock fighters out with a left hook. Um, Matter of fact, when he knocked when he knocked uh, Arthur Spilker out, he caught him. No, that was a straight right. That was a straight right. But I have seen him knock people out with a left hand. I have I have seen that. I've seen him use multi use that right hand in multiple ways. And the straight right and an uppercut. He knocked um, he knocked Ortiz out in the first fight with an uppercut. We seen how he did Bermain Severn when it was the rematch and how he was he was frustrated. And this is what really gets me in this fight. This is a rematch rematch. This is vengeance. It was shit talking in that Bermain Severn fight that made him go at him the way he did and not respect him. And I think the way he trained in this fight, like I honestly think that it's gonna end with a body shot. I seriously think this fight is going to end with a body shot. Like, y'all can say I'm tripping all you want to. Um, I really think this is going to end with a body shot. And, it, and we're going to see. So all I'm going to say is we're going to see. Um, get ready for the fights tonight, man. You know what I'm saying? I got an interview this Monday coming with Devon Mills. I'm going to post a flyer tomorrow. So y'all be, y'all, hey, tap in with me. Tap, tap, tap in with me. It's gonna be a hell of a tomorrow. Monday is gonna be a hell of a, a hell of a day. We're gonna get that interview in. Shout out to Devon Mills. Uh, immediately after that, I'm bringing on Marty Too Smooth. He's coming on. That's gonna be my next interview. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna try to get Regis and, and Quinn on because Quinn got a fight coming up. Jericho got a fight coming up. Uh, we're gonna talk to. We're gonna talk to uh, Gabe Smith because he just had a fight. Had a great fight. He gonna talk about that fight and the things that happened. Um, I got more more fighters coming, so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Y'all tap in with your boy, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm back, I'm back, baby, I'm back. See so y'all be here and just hey, come fuck with me. But it's your boy Mac with Stay Ready Boxing TV, man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC, man. Shout out to them. Y'all know it's family over here, so I'm going to represent. Shout out to the mighty LDBC, man. Lions the Box community. If you didn't know, now you know. Make sure y'all share this video so you can let everybody and their mama know that your boy back, uh, Stay Ready is back. I'm back in this bitch. So share this bitch. Let everybody know. Come tap in. Tap in. Tap, tap, tap in. I'm back. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all like, comment, comment. Let me know what y'all think, who, who y'all got tonight. Leave a comment, let me know who y'all got tonight. You know what I'm saying? Because I will be talking about it. Y'all got to eat crow if you pick against Wilder. Um, or, or if you pick Wilder and Fury 1, you know what I'm saying? You're just going to have to eat that crow. Because if I'm picking Wilder. I'm letting y'all know that. I'm picking Wilder with a body shot in the sixth round. That's my prediction. That's, what's, that's what I believe is going to happen. So y'all make sure y'all tap in. Come fuck with me. But it's your boy Mac with Stay Ready Boxing TV, man. You ain't got to get ready if you stay ready, man. Peace.